Can you please touch on Ripple Custody and who it's applicable for? So Ripple Custody, they acquired Medico in 2023 for a quarter billion dollars, and they rolled that in, and now it's been rebranded as Ripple Custody. They are an infrastructure provider for institutions to be able to facilitate the custody of digital assets and most prevalently tokenized financial products is their main use case. They're not quite as robust at providing custody for digital assets. In fact, they're not even integrated with the XRPL, which is surprising. They're working on it, but they're not currently. So that infrastructure allows for tokenized assets, CBDCs, currencies. And again, they can do Bitcoin and a few other things, but it's not as robust as people might think it is. They do use HSMs. So Ripple Custody does qualify for qualified custodians. So they're going to implement that at standard custody and remove the previous custody solution developed by PolySign from that institution. There are other people like Zodia that utilize Medico. Archax uses Medico and Fireblocks. There's a few other people that also utilize Medico on their back end. It's applicable for institutions, enterprises or institutions that want to have the infrastructure to facilitate tokenized payments or the tokenization of financial products. That's what it's going to be used for and that's who they're going to partner with. It's not consumer facing. You have to work with an institution that has licenses in order to be able to transact with end users as a trust bank or a qualified custodian.